Right, well done Molly, that was another British record, this time in 100 breasts and another gold. How pleased are you with that final? I'm so pleased and I'm really surprised that to be honest. I did want to go under 65 but I'm not really suited to sprinting, it's much more a longer efficient show that I'm better at but I'm so pleased with that. You split a 66-2 for your first 100 in the 200 yesterday so you know, take, only taking a second off, you, you must have thought there's a good chance of that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I didn't feel like I went out that fast, so when they told me I was a bit of a surprise, so I knew today that hopefully I could go quicker than that, even if I swam it in a different way, so, yeah. Was it useful to have Imogen Clark in the lane next to you? You knew she's a, a 50 metre specialist, she was going to go out very strong. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my coach Kev told me before that um, I think Imi went out in like a 30.8 this morning, which is faster than my 50 PB anyway, so he told me to try and stick with her at 50 and then use my back end that I use my 200 to come back in the last 50, so it really helped having her there. You're a bronze medalist from the past few British Championships in the 100 breast and now you're going to 2016 as British short course record holder. Is it quite a useful event to have as a backup and is it something that you're even considering to try and get an Olympic spot for? Yeah, I think definitely. Um, I've shown quite a lot of improvement this year. I mean, even in Amsterdam last week, I PB'd on 100. So I think that is, it's obviously not as important as my 200, but it's like a backup plan. So I'm definitely going to go for a trial and see where it takes me. Okay.